Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Sony Bervia Smart TV and you have an issue where your YouTube app is not working. Maybe it's not loading or it's stuck on buffering or it's frozen or maybe you get a black screen after you click on the uh, YouTube app or you get some kind of uh, error message or anything. Anyways, I'm going to give you guys five solutions to get you up and running right now. Okay, so the first step is this. With the TV on, what I want you to do is I want you to press and hold the power button. If you press and hold it, it's going to turn off and it's going to go ahead and turn back on. Okay, so let's do this together. Power button right here. Press and hold power button. Do not let go of that power button. I'm still holding on to the power button. And you can see that little green light up there. Now you can go ahead and let go. TV is back on. Now go ahead and go in. Go to your apps. Then open up YouTube. See if it works. Okay, hopefully you guys are up and running now. If not, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so the next step here is when you have your TV have your TV on and then go ahead and pull the plug while the TV is on. So here's the power plug right here. Pull it. Wait one minute. After one minute is up, go ahead and plug it back in. Give it a second. Your TV should turn on. Once it turns on, try to open up a YouTube app. See if it works. If it does, you're back in business. If not, we're going to go to the next step here. So the next step here, again, we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and have the TV on. We're going to unplug it from the power source, just like that. Now, go up to your um, wherever your wireless router slash modem is, okay? Now, I have a separate router and a modem, but most of you guys at home, you probably have one device that's a wireless modem and router. Anyways, what you want to do is just unplug it, okay? So I have two of them here. I'm going to plug both of them. Unplug this one and unplug the modem as well. Now wait five minutes, okay? So you have the wireless modem slash router unplugged and the TV's unplugged. Wait five minutes. After five minutes is up, go ahead and plug in your router and modem. Then go back to your TV here. Pop it into the power source. Let the TV uh, go ahead and boot back up. Now wait another two or three minutes. Wait for it to connect back to your Wi-Fi. After three minutes, go ahead and open up YouTube and hopefully you're back up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and update the um, software. Okay, you can see it right down here. It says update software. How do you get there? Grab your remote. Just press on the home button. And what you want to do is you want to go into settings. Okay, home button. And then you want to go down to settings. And then you want to move over to the right. And then go down to customer support right there. And then press on enter in the remote. And you see software update down here. So go down to software update. Click on the remote. And then you have, you can do a USB or network. Go down to network, highlight network. Click on OK on the remote. Do you want to start software download? Select yes. And system software update. Okay, so no newer version of the system software was found. So mine's already up to date. However, if yours is not up to date, Continue to uh, download and install the new software update, then open up YouTube and hopefully you're back up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, now this is the last step I have for you. What we're going to do is we're going to factory reset. We're going to factory reset the Sony Bervia back to factory default settings as if you just bought it brand new and took it out of the box. Another thing I want to know too that this TV here is a Sony Bervia. It's a KDL model. It's not, it doesn't have Android TV on here, okay? Anyways, how do you do a factory reset? To the very beginning of the uh, factory defaults, first thing is this. I got to show you underneath the TV because it's a little bit more difficult. So if you look down here, you see like three buttons right here, okay? This middle button is the power button, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to, pr to um, put your finger on the power button. Just don't do nothing. Just put it on the power button. And then I want you to grab your remote and you see the up bar here. Not the volume up, but the up. I want you to press and hold up and then tap the power button on your TV. And it'll automatically do a factory reset. It doesn't give you no warning or anything like that. Okay, so just FYI. So I'm going to tap. I'm going to press and hold the up. And then I'm going to go ahead. Press and hold the up. And now I'm going to go ahead and, okay, maybe I have to. Let me just press the home home button first. Okay, I'm going to press and hold the up, point at the TV, and then tap the power button. It says reset right there, let everything go, and it's automatically going to go ahead and reset, give it one second, and we should see a Sony logo, and then it's going to ask us for our language, 
that we want to use and then you proceed down with you know your region and uh, your Wi-Fi password and all that stuff so now very beginning as if I just bought a brand new go to English go all the way down set up your uh, Wi-Fi and then once you have everything connected uh, open up YouTube and hopefully you guys are up back up and running let me know which step actually worked for you guys all right good luck